Hi, good morning. My name is Donna. I'm an independent Optavia coach and welcome to Metafast Mondays. Today I am making some crepes. I like to use the crepes for, um, like to use them as tortillas for when I make, you know, like tacos or something. Actually, they're really good and it kind of gives you the, the feeling of you're getting to, to have tortillas. Um, so they're really good. I saw these on a, somebody's blog. I think it was Metafast Mom and she made them and they looked really good. So. I tried them. I liked them. The only thing I do different, though, is I add a little bit of taco seasoning to mine because because I tend to use them more for Mexican food type of things than anything. So that way it gives them um, a little bit of um, seasoning. Plus, sometimes you get the sweetness of the pancake that comes through, and, you know, I don't really like that when I'm having something spicy. So anyway, what this um, is, it's a... Um, these are the Optavia Golden Pancakes, just the regular pancakes. You can use the others, but to me, if you're making them for like tortillas to have like chocolate chip pancakes or spice pancakes, it's kind of weird. So anyway, one package. And I'm making several batches of these today just because I like to um, uh, have them ready to go and have them in my freezer. So I'll make four batches and then let them cool, bag them up, stick them in the freezer. Okay, quarter cup of egg substitute. And whatever kind you use, if you use all whites or you know egg beaters, whatever, um, whatever you use is fine. And a quarter cup, sorry, a quarter cup of water. And then the seasoning mix, I'm going to use. Um, I use the my own blend seasoning mix. It's low carb. I think once I said it was no carb, but that's not true. It's it's low carb. Um, so I'm going to use about an eighth of a teaspoon. This is a quarter teaspoon, but I'm going to use half of it um, of the the taco seasoning. I guess you could put any kind of seasoning in it you want. It depends on what you're going to make it for. I don't know. I guess. Maybe it's... Hmm. I guess. Black bulbs. Um, so I just put it in the manifest shaker and shake it up. Uh, and then sometimes you got to run a spatula through there because it gets like stuck in the little corners of the shaker. Um, and this is just like making crepes. If you've never made crepes, they're quite easy. Um, so that's what it looks like. It's pretty, it looks like it's pretty runny. Pan, medium high heat, butter spray. Um, normally I would use my induction burner, but the only pans, egg pan, that I have for my induction burner is non-stick and I don't like to spray on my non-stick pans. This is an old pan, so if you want to spray on it, it's not going to hurt anything. But yeah, never use spray on your non-stick pan because it'll ruin them. Ruin them. All right, a little spray. Um, typically, I get seven crepes out of this. So I just put like a little spot in the middle to where it's like, I don't know, three inch circle. Ooh, that's kind of hot. Ish. And just swirl it around till it doesn't swirl anymore. Let it sit for a second. Um, when the edges start to curl a little bit and get kind of lacy looking, like, you know, ruffly that's when you know it's time to turn it. And then I usually just stick my hand in there and pull it out and turn it. Uh, my son always tells me I have as best as hands, but I really don't. Uh, I just uh, stick my hands on hot things sometimes. Don't try this at home. All right, so again, ouch, see? Great. And then what I do is I just put them on some wax paper let them cool off and then once they're cool I cut the wax paper up so there's something in in between them because when when you put them in the freezer you don't want them to like stick together because then it's just an ugly mess and you know uh, so anyway um, I'll cut those apart and then stick them in a Ziploc baggie stick them in the freezer they don't last long enough for them to get freezer burnt um, typically I don't know I usually just eat these like once a week I'll make tacos if you use the 99% um, lean ground turkey you get seven ounces of that stuff, and you have it with this. Should you get seven tacos? A little, little uh, lettuce, tomato, avocado, some sour cream, Dude, taco sauce. Yeah. Um, I tried making tortillas out of cauliflower. They were all right, but it was a pain in the ass. I'm gonna turn this down just a hair because I think it's a little. Hot. Um. Anyway, the cauliflower tortillas. It was a pain in the ass, and just you know, I don't know. I wasn't. I wasn't that thrilled with them. So, I don't know, I haven't made them again. Um, 
This though, I like. I even tried putting these in the air fryer in a little, I'll be right back. I have these little things that make taco shells. So um, it actually, you could make them a little bit bigger, the crepes, and then you put this in inside of that, the crepe inside of that, stick it in the air fryer for a couple minutes, and it gets kind of crispy to where it makes like a tortilla shell. Really good, just don't put anything really liquidy in it because it like makes them degrade. But I tried it once, it was pretty good, you know? Gave me, gave me the feeling that I was having a taco shell without all the crap, you know, the oil and the ooh, carbs. So um, anyway, these are, as I said, these are really easy. It's just a breeze to make them. Um, and just do, do things. If you're gonna take the trouble to do this, do more than one batch of them, especially. Well, try them first, because if you don't, if you find that you don't like them, then, you know, you don't want to waste your, your Optavia or Metafast food, because God knows it's expensive, right? Um, so really, uh, try them once. If you like them, then just make a big batch of them. Stick them in the freezer. I use my freezer all the time. I got a big freezer out in the back too. I buy meat in bulk, especially chicken. Ooh, damn. I was at Winco over the weekend, $1.78 a pound for chicken breasts. Um, so usually I, I get a big package of them. I usually buy two packages, bring them home, trim all the excess fat off of it, seal them up, bam. I got, I got chicken for three weeks worth of chicken. Oh, oh, oh. Anyway, I'm going to do one more here and then I'll shut up. All right. There we go. Yeah, that pan was just a little hot the first time. Mm -hmm. Kind of cool. Um, anyway, I am, I do have plans to make something else today, which I've made yesterday. I had, a, I had like a bright idea on the way to the store and I'm like ooh that'd be good so I tried it and it actually was really good so um, I'll do that later on today as soon as I'm done making all these crepes and then uh, if you have any questions um, give me a holler my information's down below if you um, want to know how to count the egg beaters and the spice that it goes in this against your lean and green um, ask your coach they can help you with that if you don't have a coach if you need one give me a holler I'm happy to help you um, again this is Manifest Mondays. My name's Donna. Talk to you later. Bye.